Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we're looking at the 14-inch die-cast Warthog from Halo 4 made by Jada or Jada Toys. Don't know how to pronounce that name, doesn't really matter. This is the Combat Edition, which means it's not the shiny green one. This has the flat paint with the mud, I guess, the mud effects going on. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as the regular version. And it is mostly die-cast. All of the main body is die-cast. Um, we have rubber tires and then plastic parts throughout to fill it out. Uh, one thing I want to point out before I go forward is with this version or the standard version, all of these bars are super fragile. They're definitely not die cast. They're little chintzy plastic. Everywhere they are, they break extremely easily. In fact, this one, this bar was broken on the other side. I had to fix that. Uh, they pop right out in a breaking type of way, not in a good kind of way. And then this was broken on the other side as well, from the factory, brand new. So I had to fix that. Be really careful. I have the regular one coming. I had it already, but it came and it was broken beyond repair. A couple of these were just busted off so much that I couldn't fix them, so I had to get a replacement. That's not here yet, so I can't do a comparison. I will when I get it. So just be very careful that all of the non-diecast parts are quite fragile okay okay so let's look at the size it's supposed to be 14 inches let's see if it is the ruler is 12 inches it looks like if you include the gas cans in the back it will measure exactly 14 inches gas cans being back there of course if you'll notice it rolls really nicely on these big rubber tires they might be a little oversized if I'm recalling correctly the tires aren't nearly that big it should be a lot smaller, but I, I could be wrong. And they might be that big in Halo 4. I know in past games, the tires have not been that big. The cool thing about this, one of the cool things, is that the tires, in the front at least, have a little bit of a turn radius, and it is directly connected to the steering wheel. It's kind of heavy, so I have to pick it up to show you. But if you turn the steering wheel, the tires actually turn. That's all they do. They don't have any more radius than that, but it is kind of a cool feature. So that's pretty nice. The gun turret just snaps into place. It doesn't come in it in the Warthog in the packaging. You have to put it in yourself. The design isn't the best, but it is effective enough. So that spins there. You can spin it all the way around if you want to, and it does have a hinge here. And the ammo belt is actually articulated just a little bit, so it doesn't get in the way. So that's a pretty nice feature. Uh, what else do we have? The hood opens up, which is kind of cool. It only opens up that much, so there's not a huge uh, exposition of the engine parts, but you can get in there a little bit and see some of the cool detailing. Paint works, the paintwork inside isn't immaculate, but it is there, so that's nice enough. Um, what else is there to mention? I guess we can mention that this is connected by a soft piece of rubber so it won't break off, but that is actually a metal antenna, so that looks kind of cool. So the paintwork on this thing, like I said, it's all flat colors. There's no uh, glossy metal. All of the metallic parts are still metallic, like the uh, the top piece here, the T-top type thing, and the, the barrel on the gun. The bars are technically metallic, and then they have the, the brown part uh, brushed over them. You can see right here on the part that broke off, the brown part scratched right off, and that was from the factory, so like I said, be aware. It's really a flat paint, and flat paints tend to scratch easier. So this one is all flat and like not clean looking, whereas the other one is nice and bright and looks like a museum piece. So uh, this one costs a little bit more, the other one's not quite as much. The gas cans are made out of rubber back here. They look like they can be removed, but they can't, so take note of that. Uh, it does have working suspension all the way around. You don't get a whole lot of range of motion on that suspension. There are springs in there, and it is single axle suspension, they're not independent. but uh, it does have that, even though the tires are too big to let it really move too much. It does have that on the front and back, so that's pretty cool. The seats are made out of a soft kind of rubber material, and they are sculpted really well, but the paintwork isn't the best, and the floorboards are really close up, so you can't fit a figure in there very well at all. Let's talk about that. So this is the Halo 4 Warthog, so I have the Halo 4 Master Chief from McFarlane. He's way too big. I know it's not supposed to be in scale, but people want to know. So he's way too big for it. You can't really get him in at all, and he has bad leg articulation, so that's no good. 
The best option when we have as far as Spartans go are the Halo 3 figures. If you want to do this, obviously it doesn't line up, Halo 3, Halo 4. They fit fairly well, it's not ideal, but if you bend the right joints, they can kind of fit in there, but then the floorboards still get in the way, so it's not going to be the best situation. Uh, the Halo Reach Warthog from McFarlane is better in scale, but still not quite right, and I'll compare those that to this in a second. So what you're going to want to do if you want to display this with a figure is definitely use like an ODST or one of the Marines, and then they'll fit in it well enough, but it's still not ideal. This is definitely more in the line of just a display piece rather than a playable piece. Uh, last thing I want to mention is just the detailing in the small paintworks, like where it says no step and the stripes, the UNSC logo. Lots of great detailing on this thing. It's really nice. I do recommend it, although maybe not this version since it costs more than the other version, but it is a cool piece, and if you like Halo, then I'm going to say go ahead and pick it up. You're going to enjoy having it, and it's really heavy. It's a nice die cast. So, let's just do a quick comparison with the Halo Reach Warthog. That's the Jada one right there. The Halo Reach one is bigger by about two inches. It's two inches longer roughly. About the same height. And just to show you, look how little the wheels are in comparison. Well, they're close to the same size. The Reach one is a little smaller, but the opening in the wheel well is much smaller. So the Reach Hog is definitely the one you want if you want to fit figures in. Although still, it doesn't quite fit the Reach figures as it should, or the Halo 4 figures because they're in the bigger scale. You're going to want to use Halo 3 still, unfortunately. So, anyway, back to the review in question. That's the Diecast Combat Edition Warthog from Halo 4. I do recommend it, though. It is not perfect, and it, there are some problems in breakage and that kind of thing. So it's cool, but it's not perfect. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so I said I was going to show you what the two hogs look like compared to each other once I got them both in a separate video. Uh, I decided just to throw it on the back of that video since I hadn't uploaded it yet. So here it is. There's the uh, Battle Edition or Combat Edition. Basically, it's the flat one with the dirt that I showed you in the video. And then here's the clean version. It's the exact same thing, except for the green is like a, a glossy green. It's not metallic. There's no metal flake in it. But it looks cleaner and nicer. The tires are obviously not dirty. And... That's really the only difference is there's none of the dirt and then everything is the glossy green instead of the flat green. So really it's the exact same thing. This one is cheaper than that one because that was a special edition and you can't get it at too many places. But there it is guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting.